In today's video, I'm going to show you how the Moen 1222B cartridge operates. And of course, if you're looking to grow your plumbing skills here in this industry, consider dropping down below and hitting the subscribe button. That way you're not going to miss out. Now there are literally millions of homeowners around the world that have mowing valves inside of their home. Sooner or later, they're gonna find themselves having to either call a plumber or figure out how to fix the problem. Now there's no shortage of these YouTube video and tutorials step-by-steps here on YouTube telling you how to replace one of these cartridges in one of your valves. Today is about showing you how these cartridges work and what causes them to go bad. So the Moen 1222B Posi Temp cartridge, everybody's seen these before, take a listen. Hear that shaking around? What is that? Check it out. I'm going to take this cartridge and on the stem end, I'm going to push and pull this thing apart like so. Pull it completely out of its shell, just like that. This is a shell we just pulled out of there. See, there's absolutely nothing inside of there. Just a couple washers and a hole, one at the bottom on the one side and one at the top on the other side. Inside of this baby right here is a cylindrical bearing. It's round and it's about that long and it goes up and it goes down. Okay, that's why they call this a posi temp. Now on these Moen single handled valves, as you turn your water on, it goes from cold to lukewarm to hot and back down as you turn it off. What happens is, is as you turn that knob inside of this cartridge, that cylindrical bearing we're talking about will lift and turn and it will position itself to wherever you have that water demand coming in, whether it's cold, less cold, a little warm, less warm, more cold, all the way to hot and back. It acts as a cylindrical bearing and that bearing has multiple little holes. So as you shut the thing off and it drops back down into the bottom position, it is focused on what it started with and you're ending with, which is the cold. Okay, so a very common call I get is, I get customers saying, hey, I had some company over for the weekend and stuff and they went to go take a shower and I got no hot water. How does this happen? What do I do? Please fix it. This is usually very common in a second bathroom where the shower doesn't get used very often. So what happens is if that valve sits and it doesn't get exercised on a regular basis, the last time somebody used it and turned it off, it got turned off in a cold position. So now when you go to use it a month or two later and they go to turn it on, that cylindrical bearing sticks in there. And it, it doesn't matter if you go into the hot or not, you're not gonna get anything more than cold water because it's been sitting in there. It hasn't been exercised. Now it's stuck in the cold position and now I've gotta pull that cartridge out and replace it with a new one. Okay, so what have we learned today in this video? Uh, if you indeed do have a Moen tub shower valve that has one of these cartridges, not the older style, which is a push and pull. We're talking about ones that you just turn on and turn back off. If you do not use that tub and shower, say it's a second bath in the house, kids grown up, moved out and stuff, do yourself a favor and you can save yourself some money. If on a regular basis, once a week, even if that's what you need to do, go in there and turn the thing on and back off, on and back off a few times. This way, that little cylindrical bearing isn't gonna end up getting froze up on you and then when the company shows up, they're ending up with a cold shower. So there you guys go. The Moen 1222B PosiTemp cartridge explained to you. Listen, do yourself a favor, possibly save yourself a little bit of money, even a service call. If you do and happen to have an extra bathroom in the house that has one of these valves, once in a while, go in there and exercise the thing. That way you're not gonna end up finding yourself with a cold shower. Thanks so much for dropping by here on Plumbing with Tim. Until next time, keep plumbing.